Hi everybody, we're here today with Carrie Prasky, and Carrie has one of the longer job titles here at SolidWorks, so rather than tell you what it is, I'm going to let her tell everybody. Um, hi, I'm uh, Carrie Prasky, and I'm the QA and Operations Manager for Internet Product Development here at SolidWorks. So Internet Product Development, um, what does that mean? What do you guys, what do you work on? Um, well, we um, work on 3D Content Central, is one of our uh, biggest products that we work on. Uh, we also put out a new release this year for uh, the learning community, which is the online help that you can access directly from SolidWorks. And we have uh, even more exciting things planned coming up. And you guys just released some new functionality on 3D Content Central this week, right? Yes, we did. So tell us about that. Um, we, John Slocum posted a, a blog entry about it earlier, but what's your, you know, in 30 seconds or less, um, what have you done? Uh, well, this release is um, an enhancement to what we'd already been working on, which is our self-service suppliers. And with uh, this release, the suppliers, you'll be able to go and upload even more of your content. And um, in addition to that, the SolidWorks 2009 release supported um, con the configurator, which allows you to create parametric configurable models that you can upload directly to 3D Content Central and allow people to configure right online and download. Uh, we also released something called content on my website, which means that if you sign up as a self-service supplier, you're able to uh, create your own web page where people can view your models and it will download from 3D Content Central so you don't have to host it yourself. Awesome. There's been a lot of talk on the internet lately about how uh, the internet and, uh, and CAD technology are starting to converge. Are there any exciting new products you can tell us about coming uh, for the next year? Well, actually, we do have, we're going to be making even more enhancements to the configurator so that more rules are going to be handled. Right now it's, it's some simple rules, but we'll be able to do a lot more circular rules, um, a lot more complicated models. But in addition to that, um, we are really getting more into the defeaturing, which is also standalone. You can go into SolidWorks and create uh, models that you can defeature to help. Uh, so if you want to send it to somebody else, you can protect your intellectual property. But it's also a setting directly in 3D Content Central so that you can create these you know, complicated models that you can parametrically uh, have your customers configure and download, but they can download them defeatured so that you will be able to, um, you know, again, protect your intellectual property. Great. So you'll be at SolidWorks World in Anaheim yes. in uh, January and February. What is it that, uh, that you'll be doing there? Well, I'm actually going to be giving a talk on um, how to maximize your efficiency with 3D Content Central. It's going to be a great talk. It's mainly for users, and it's showing you how it should be a tool that you keep up on your desk all the time because there's a lot to offer in there. There's a lot of information you can get. We've got ratings and reviews, um, all kinds of you know supplier data. It's it's just going to be, it's going to show you a great way to um, set up your um, browser to have your um, to work to work well with uh, SolidWorks and and your designs. So if, if some of the users out there want to talk to you about some of the ideas they might have or, or things they'd like to see, how would they could find you, short of, of going to your session? <laughs> I'm going to be at the booth a lot, the SolidWorks booth a lot, working on Content Central. And, um, and one of the things I did want to say is that a lot of people, I mean, it's great. I love SolidWorks World. I love to hear the positive comments when people come up and tell you how wonderful everything is. But being in the QA, um, portion of this, I really like to hear what's not working for you. I really want to hear, you know, how you're using it and how you're stuck, you know, if, if you're having problems or what you'd like to see changed in that because not only does it affect the future of what we're going to design into the product, but it also gives us a better way of knowing how to test it as actual users test the product so that we can be sure to work these out before it gets to market next time. Great. So if you have any suggestions or comments, let Carrie know. Yes, please. And so before we sign off, um, any, any last words, uh, any advice you'd give to anybody who might be coming? Oh, just have a great time. See as many things as you can. And really, everybody that works at SolidWorks is there, ready to listen to you. So come find us out and tell us everything. Absolutely. So if you haven't seen it yet, check out the new updates to 3D Content Central. It just came out this week. 
and, uh, and be sure to stop by Carrie's uh, breakout session. We'll post a link to it. Carrie, thanks for taking the time to, to meet with me, and um, we'll see you in Anaheim. Thank you.